I would like yeah. to see if Mu Sheri has a question for you as well. Yes, I do. I'm I'm wondering how Rince Priebus is feeling at this point about the brokered convention, if he's going to try and um, avert it or, or if he will actually go along with it. Well, you know, it, once the convention starts, the chairman of the party really doesn't have as much to say as the convention chair okay. and the delegates. I mean, and let's be honest, there's one Rince Priebus and there's how many delegates? There'll be hundreds yeah. of delegates. So, and I'm going to tell you something. There are a substantial number of Ron Paul delegates. That's what I, I, that was my other question. Gee, I'm going to tell you it, it, it seems like it will come down to Newt, between Newt and Ron Paul to me, as far as the delegates well, go. Well, if, I don't know if you saw Rand Paul's endorsement of um, Mitt Romney or not. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. And I can tell you, I can assure you, I was in a district that was seventy that went 70% Ron Paul, okay? Uh-huh. I can assure you that those delegates were not dancing in the streets in a way uh-huh. that would make, um, be interpreted as joyous. And it's probably a good thing he announced that so that people had some time before the convention to work through their anger. Because if he had done that on the convention floor, I would not have wanted to have been there and been there at all. <laughs> and, um, you know, there are, I, I tried to warn a few of my friends because I saw it, I knew it was coming. And I was sure of it after the whole thing with the guy in Arizona who wrote the complaint about Rince Priebus and then the Ron Paul campaign threw him under the bus and saying, well, you should check with us because Dr. Paul signed an agreement with the RNC, blah, blah, blah. Um, they all signed an agreement. So in my mind, uh, it was inevitable that that was going to happen. Now, these Ron Paul delegates are, are not going to roll over and play dead. I, I right. will tell you that right now. Um, they are, I'm not going to say they're radical, but um, they put a lot of time and effort and money into Dr. Paul's campaign. And we are talking about people who ordinarily would never contribute to a political campaign. These are people who put work in, they put effort in, and they're going to see this thing through. To turn it to Valerie Kelly Bath. Valerie, do you have a question that you would yes. like to <clears throat> ask? Actually, I do, Barbara. Um, what I don't understand about the broker convention is who is the <clears> – <throat> are there several people? Like say that Mitt is the presumptive nominee right now. Uh, are there several options that will show up against Mitt during the broker convention, or is it just one? And how is that determined? Well, ultimately what you have to have is a full is – a, is your probably either – there's a couple things that could happen, okay? Okay. Um, Speaker Gingrich suspended his campaign. He did not end his campaign. He could re-enter the campaign the day before the convention. I think there's a time frame, but I think it's, let's hypothetically say the day before the convention, okay? All of his delegates are still bound to him. And there's some some radical differences in the campaigns and in how the different states have conducted, in how the different campaigns have conducted themselves. And it's a very, very critical distinction. Um, Newt's campaign has relied upon strong state leaders to emerge, all right? Uh, he didn't send a national campaign manager around, as far as I know. Um, he didn't in my convention, and I, I didn't see him doing that in any other conventions. He himself put in some personal appearances, but there was no national representative. In contrast, Romney has a state convention management team and Ron Paul has a state management team at, for these state conventions. And they actually hang around and try to not just only influence the delegate process, but influence who's in the party. Hmm. So the delegates, the delegates Wait, again, make that decision. A bunch of information here that is so vital <clears throat> to, each of our, to our listening audience. So I thank you for that and for that question, Valerie. Uh, Stacy Coleman, do you have any question that you would like to ask Barbara? 
my question goes towards um, the fact that I always try to look ahead and in the future, okay? Um, where, how can, how can a brokered convention be sold to the American people if Mitt Romney has a commanding lead, like he really, like he does right now? I was well, just wondering how it can be sold that the American people would buy it. You know what I'm saying? Well, first off, it isn't the American people has to buy it. It's the delegates. Okay? It's the delegates who run the convention, not the American people. The American people will, through the, dele- through the election process and the delegate selection process, send people to the convention. And those are the people we need to convince. Now, I've been working up an educational series for people to use as flyers, brochures, okay? But the other aspect of that is we just need to get really good people as delegates. And a lot of people think that the delegate selection process is over. And actually, it's really just getting underway in very many places. For example, um, I talked to somebody last night from North Carolina, Mm -hmm. and they thought their delegate selection was done. And it turns out that their state convention is June 1st, and the delegate selection, the actual formal selection, hasn't even happened yet for 13 of the at-large delegates. South Carolina just completed their delegate selection. Let me just go through this quick list here. Uh, Arizona has completed theirs, I believe, by now. Arkansas had their delegate filing. Um, You had to file a while back. But they still have at-large delegates selected by a state executive committee. Now, if I was in Arkansas, I would try, and if I hadn't been elected, I would definitely try to get in there so that when that executive committee meets in June, I was one of those at-large delegates. Um, California has yet to even have their primary. Hawaii um, did have 11 at-large delegates, but Mitt Romney got to pick those. In Idaho, they just had their filing deadline for delegates, but they still have yet to actually select their delegates. And Ron Paul, while he has had all the fun there, he does not have a monopoly on the word fun. Um, Illinois, on the 9th, on the 8th of June, will be selecting 12 at-large delegates. Indiana, on June 8th, will be selecting uh, several at-large delegates. Iowa still has 13 at-large delegates to be unbound delegates to be selected on the 16th of June. Kansas will be picking 25 at-large delegates on July 1st. Kentucky still has 24 at-large delegates in play, and their state convention is June 19th. If you're in Kentucky, get in there. Louis, oh, hear that, their Stacey? convention is... Do you hear that, Stacy? Kentucky? Yeah. <laughs> Louisiana, Louisiana, their state convention is the 6th, is June 2nd, and it seems like there's 25 at-large delegates in play. That's a large chunk. I wouldn't let Ron Paul have all the fun there either. Michigan, I believe, just completed at theirs, and they had 30 bound delegates that should have come out of that convention, most of whom were probably for Santorum and probably got bought by Mitt Romney would be my guess. But I don't know because I haven't heard any reports yet from Michigan. I have contacts there, but I don't know. Um, I, I haven't had an opportunity to talk to them yet. Uh, they had to travel quite a ways to their state convention, as I did. Uh, Mississippi had a filing deadline on May 1st, and their convention was on the 19th, so I don't know what came out of that yet either. Uh, Missouri will be having their state convention June 1st. Montana Montana hasn't had their primary and or their, their uh, caucuses, and they have a state convention on June 14th where there are 26 unbound delegates to be selected. Holy cow, Montana's got some opportunities there. Nebraska still in play. They haven't even had a primary, a caucus, nothing. They haven't done anything yet. We can't let Romney run off with that. Oklahoma yeah. had well, 25. I just yeah. would like to say that uh, all of this information, I believe myself, is vital to those people who uh, are not knowledgeable about the broker convention end of the spectrum because uh, I believe myself that uh, I sat back and I believe that when Newt Gingrich has said, and that's my support because everybody has their own and we will respect that. 
Uh, but right. when Newt Gingrich uh, had said that uh, he suspended the, his com- campaign, I said, oh, wow, it's all over. And after a while, all I kept hearing was how Mitt Romney and Obama, Mitt Romney and Obama, and, and pretty soon I thought, if we have a brokered convention, if Mitt Romney does not get all of the delegate count that he needs, why are they self uh, self crowning him now before the uh, before the nom- nominee has even been picked? And I think that because a lot of, of the misconceptions you- that people have is that they honestly believe that if they don't vote for Mitt, then they are voting they are giving a vote to uh, Obama, to the president, and of whom they are not uh, wanting and, and to be elected. Your thoughts in on some, that? In some respect, you are right. They, pe- people, they want people to think that. And they have, even when Newt Gingrich was at the top of the thing, they would say, oh, as you're voting for Newt, you must be w- voting for Obama. No, how do you figure? Newt was at the t- at that time. Newt was number one. There was no way that that was a vote for Obama. In fact, you could have said a vote for Mitt Romney's a vote for Obama. All right, they did that to Huckabee as well. You know, a vote yeah. for Huckabee is a vote for I don't know whoever. But the truth of the matter is, that, the delegate selection. I mean, uh, as well as what you're saying, I'm going to go ahead and ask you, and I hope you don't mind coming back on because we are going to take a short station identification break here and uh, once I come back on then uh, we will continue. I hope you hold that train of thought. I appreciate